Okay, Adam, um, a pre-season catch-up. We've only had the one friendly. Um, right, did you enjoy the summer break or have you not had a break and you've been busy? Um, no, yeah, absolutely loved it to be fair. Um, got a bit of golfing, a bit of time away with the family, so yeah, it's been lovely, thanks. Really good. How about yourself? Yeah, it wasn't too, yeah, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. It doesn't feel like much of a break. No, to be no, yeah, <laughs> it's, it, yeah, you're constantly, you're not really away from it, are you? You're constantly, you know, looking at what you can improve on and stuff like that. And, um, also speaking to players all the time, so yeah, it's not much of a break, but no, it's good, thanks. Yeah, and obviously, it was only two weeks ago, it was the end of season awards, Yeah. Um, you managed to get the manager of the year, yeah. after only being getting manager of the month, I think once, possibly twice? No, um, once, yeah. Once, <laughs> yeah. I thought it might have been. Um, so it's finally nice to get that, that recognition for a good season where ultimately we got promoted. No, yeah, it's obviously, obviously nice for like, a personal point of view, but um, yes yeah, it's, it's a whole collective team's hard work throughout the season um you know off off the pitch we've got such a good team um that all work together and and work hard so it, it's nice for them more than anything really um you know it's it's got my name on it and i went and collected it but ultimately like it's, it's a team effort and you only get awards like that um if the team on the pitch are doing well so you know it's Full credit to, to, to what they're doing on the pitch and, and the team we got off it really. Yeah, I, I nearly ended up taking it home, but your wife your wife saved you from my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ended up with about five or six trophies on our uh, kitchen like island bit uh, that night. So Teddy, when he woke up, he was in his elements in all his trophies. So that was a fantastic night. Um, obviously, all the all the recognition that that went um, for everyone at the club um, was you know really pleasing to see. Right then, so on, on to new signings, uh, Adam Al Alabd, Kane Wills, Jake Robinson, Lewis White. Um, what sort of impact are you expecting them to have on the squad as a whole? Oh yeah, like it's just added a bit more experience, a bit more nails to us, um, you know, with those signings. Um, and I think it's important that we've done that, some players that know, know this level and, and above this level. And um, with such a young squad that we've, we've got here, um, Thought that was important to add that bit of experience um, to bed in some younger players with them. So, no, yeah, they're really excited. They're all good characters and um, getting a lot of stick for you know signing all my ex friends. But um, you know, ultimately, they're hungry football players that um, want to have a big impact at this football club, and that's why I signed them. So, um, and you know, they're, they're talented players, and you know, I'm really happy with with the signing so far. Yeah, and obviously we had the friendly with three bridges, uh, the first one of the season, and Jake Robinson straight away, fox in the box, grabs grabs his goal. Yeah, um, probably not renowned for his heading, but blimey, in the few sessions that we had, he can still get up and, you know, he's, he's good in the air. Um, for someone that's not, you know, under 6 foot, he's, he's still good in the air. His finishing and his, his cleverness to bring other players in is, is something that, I, like I say, our younger players can really learn from. Um, you know, we've got Brad, who was probably the top goal scorer throughout the sort of youth setup. For him to come and watch Jake train and, and play on a regular basis will be massive for him. And um, you know, it's good as well. He's got good link up straight away with Oli and obviously Cal Keeley as well. Now a Worthing player, haven't been on loan last year. You know, I think we've got some real good options in the forward areas. Yeah, obviously, Anna has seen uh, Oli Pierce. We knew they were staying on for this yep. season quite early. Um, we haven't heard a lot about other members of the last season's squad who, who were staying on. Um, can you give us any tidbits, any people who are, have, have signed for, for, this, for the upcoming season? Um, or is it all in the Yeah, end? no, no, it's all, all pretty much sorted. I think like one thing the club's been um, stung with in the past is people saying they're signing and then actually not signing. I think it looks quite bad. So we've actually, um, actually this season waited for and you know, I think it's actually be confirmed and um, you know, I think Baz is here and he's going to be signing a few of the lads on tonight so it's all sorted so yeah like Harrison's agreed, Joel, Danny Barker, Miki, um, we've got JB, Tutty um, all agreed from, from last year so yeah the, the core and the nucleus of what we had Marvin as well so yeah there's you know with those eight with 
like you mentioned already, Aaron, Oli, and, and Cal. There's 11 from last season's squad, and you know that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to build a squad that could come up with us and um, go up through the through the leagues. And um, you know, I'm really delighted that we've been able to keep them and, and like I say, add uh, one or two that we've added so far. Okay, obviously Will Seager and Dijon Golding left. Was that was that uh, your your choice that you felt they need to move on, or, or was it a case of they they wanted to move on? Or? No, yeah, I tried to get round all the players and, and meet them personally. I went up to London to meet the two boys and just had an honest conversation really, and just just said that probably don't see them featuring week in week out of my plans, and they're both at an age now where they want to play. Um, you know, if they wanted to come back pre-season and, and prove to me that they were, were good enough and that they should be starting then I was more than happy for them to do that but um, at the same time I wanted to be honest and, and tell them how I felt you know this season was going to pan out for them and um, yeah with both of them I think they both played a lot of football now and at a certain age where uh, I think they feel they need to be playing regular regular football and getting minutes and rightly so so yeah it was a bit of a sort of mutual agreement um, all quite amicable and um, I'm sure they'll both go on to to do well um, at Chester in the season yeah no obviously we're going to come up against them so let's hope yeah let's hope that oh, yeah, they don't it's, score. it's <laughs> bound Dejan's bound to get hat-trick and Will's bound to be man of the match that day it's, it's what happens in football isn't it you've seen it so many times where you come yeah. up against your players that used to be at the club and they sort of raised their game and you know that'd be no different and uh, yeah it's, uh, it's just how, how football works in it so yeah um, I'm sure all of our fans will be having Dejan down as the first goal scorer when he comes back to, to play here um, yeah fantastic fantastic uh, players and, and good characters as well so yeah all, wish them all the best yeah, and we'll definitely stay in touch Definitely, because they were a big part of last year. Yeah, of course they were, yeah. So, brilliant. OK, obviously a few academy players featured in the first friendly against Three Bridges. Um, how many of them do you think can do a Jasper? That's what I'm going to call you now, man. Yeah. Doing a Jasper. No, that's... You know, just look at how well they've done last year. Um, certainly a talented group. I think we've got one lad that's on trial at Cambridge as well at the moment from that group. So, you know, there's abundance of talent and I just feel now we've got that bit more experience in um, it will allow us to add one or two um, of the youngsters in with them and they'll get good guidance um, so yeah really sort of hopeful that there's there's a couple in there that can feature regularly in the squad yeah that, that was my next question really obviously pre-season yeah a chance for them to put them at the forefront of your mind really yeah it? that's it yeah you say to every every player and every young player that you know, pre-seasons, um, an opportunity. Everyone starts on a level playing field, and everyone gets their opportunity to, to go and play. And it's over to them, really, uh, if they deliver and uh, do the goods. I thought Frankie Perry took his goal well and had a real good impact in yeah. the game. Joe Rye was excellent at the back. Um, you know, they got get their minutes. So in Spicer and Ruben both both done well, and they just got to keep their standards and consistency throughout pre-season um, and see where they are but I think there could be where the jump is that bit bigger now we might have a few more as many as like 10 players out on loan from our young young like crop that we've got um, out getting minutes at a good level um, but you know ultimately for to, to develop to be worthy players in the future. Okay, first game is at home, which I'm quite happy about. Yep. Um, obviously against Dover, they were relegated. Um, obviously, after getting the points deduction and a big fine from the FA for the COVID season. Um, what's, what sort of test are you expecting on that first first game of the season? Yes, I think they'll be one of the favourites for the league, I'd imagine. Um, you know, a really established National League club um, coming down and I think they've sort of probably had it in the pipeline for a while that they was going to come down to this level so I'm sure the planning and everything you've got uh, a manager that's managed in the, in the league um, probably near on 100 games I imagine um, so you know it's, it's an unbelievable test unbelievable test for us but one that we'll relish um, you know I'm looking forward to um, pitting my wits against these top class managers and I'm sure the lads are looking forward to playing against this opposition um, when the fixture list comes out I think 
Um, you get Dover at home first game of the season in the league and you look at the fixture list, there's some big, big clubs and big, big games and um, you know, ones that us as a group will really sort of look forward to, to coming up against and like I say, given um, a good count of ourselves and it's going to be a hell of a challenge, like I say, some really big clubs. Um, but yeah, we'll certainly look forward to it. Yeah. Um, on, on the point of the fixture list, obviously third game of the season, away at Weymouth on a Tuesday night, hasn't been too too kind to us. What are your overall thoughts on the actual fixture list for the, for the coming season? No, I'd like to say already, really, you, you look, you go through it, don't you? And, um, you know, Dover and Weymouth in the first three games, um, it just shows you the task and the, at the level that you, you're playing at. It's, it's a, a massive jump for us, a massive level and some real big clubs, like I say, National League clubs these these teams have been. Um, and, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's what we've wanted for a long time now, so we'll certainly look forward to it and, you know, I'm sure we'll take a, a big following down there, as it being um, you know, the summer holidays as well, so it's a chance to might even be able to take my kids away for a little break to Weymouth for a few yeah. days before it. So, yeah, no, a bit of right side. Yeah, that's it. There's some big, big clubs, big, big grounds, big, big um, fan bases that we're going to be coming up against. So, it's a really sort of um, great test for us. But like I say, we've we've got to got to enjoy it and embrace it. It's been a while in the making for us. Um, so, yeah, we want to really enjoy the experience and, and look forward to. To, to these to these games coming up. Okay, and Hampton and which Richmond seem to have been designated as our local derby. Yeah. <laughs> Over the, well, a yeah. strange one in my yeah, mind. Yeah. Um, I expected Eastbourne or, yeah, or haven't, haven't but, yeah. for Ham Hampton and Richmond over the festive period. No, <laughs> no, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a trip for them to come down here on, on Boxing Day, but yeah, like I say, another club that's been at this this level for for a while now. We've got a great manager, um, knows his stuff, and um, you know it's, it's it's a real real tough task. But again, just looking forward to seeing this place full, and I'm sure there will be an unbelievable following, especially for that first game. I think there'll be a real big crowd in here, and um, yeah, it's down to us to sort of show what we can do and make sure the fans keep coming back um, but yeah it's, I don't know how they've worked that one out personally but uh, <laughs> yeah we'll, we'll, we'll enjoy it yeah, and uh, it's, a, it. yeah, it's, a, it's a new ground for a lot of us to, to go to and um, yeah we're certainly really looking forward to to, the, to being part of this league. Okay and, and finally um, with the, with the pre-season um, what, what are you, you looking for most from the players? Um, obviously, early early stages is um, you know to to get sort of minutes in the legs really, and you know work on fitness levels. Um, you know the lads have come back in good shape, and they've really worked hard in the first week or so that we've had. Um, you know the, the, they've got the GPS uh, units now, so we can track the the running they're doing. They're getting through some work, um, really working hard and. And that's all you can ask, really. And, and with that, once we start getting that, then you start looking at, um, you know, the, the details of how we want to play and stuff like that. So, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a good group, really exciting group, and you know, really looking forward to working with them um, over the next few weeks. Okay, Adam. Thank you very much for your time, no mate. I'll let you get on with training. Pleasure, mate. Cheers. Cheers. Mate.